Today, I want to show you how to propagate one of my favorite indoor plants, and that is angel hair vine. I bought this angel hair vine from one of my favorite plant shop, Terrain, and I'm definitely interested in multiplying my angel hair vine collection, just having more of these cute plants drizzled around my home. This angel hair vine actually is inside this 4-inch nursery pots that it came with but I actually really like to place them into those really cute planters such as this one and for this propagation I want to use one of the planters I made I think this shape is really cute it's gonna work great with the cute leaves from Angel Hair Vine Propagating is really easy all you need is the plant and some water and some potting soil and a new planter to start with, you need to find some long stem that is healthy and is not dying. Then you want to cut them into sections around 4 to 6 inches long. Let me show you. First, you need to find some stems that are fairly long, like this one. Sometimes it takes a bit unwinding to find the best ones. This branch is fairly long and it is very healthy around here, so it might be a good candidate. I'm gonna continue cutting. Angel hair vines are very vigorous, so it is good to give them a haircut every now and then. I mostly look for things that are a little too long. A lot of times you see them start to branch out, and that's a good time to cut off a branch. Sometimes you see bits that are dying, and that's totally fine, just trim them off with um, your scissor. So where you want to cut is right below a node, um, which is usually where the leaf grows and sometimes the leaf fall off, but you should still be able to spot where the nodes are. And for any portion that goes below the water, you want to remove the leaves so it won't grow bacteria. Some parts are more woody, um, and usually I like to choose those like semi-woody cuts, not too tender and not too woody. This one is short, so I'm going to trim off one of the branch so it will have a longer stem to go under the water. And I just continue process those cuts and then place them under the water. Now it's done, and just to make sure that you change your water every few days to keep the water fresh, and now it is the waiting game, so it usually takes about 4 to 10 weeks to develop any visible roots. So you just want to keep changing the water until it develops some good roots, about like maybe an inch or so. So now I want to show you how to pop them up. I have these cuttings from a couple months ago, and now they have developed some really healthy roots. These are about an inch, that's the time you can start potting them. I'm going to use this little cup which has a little hole on the bottom so I can put it into my planter. This is made of cardboard and is temporary. I would highly encourage you to use something that is more plastic because anything made of paper can erode really quickly. So I'm going to add a little bit of water so the soil is moist enough for any of those cuttings. And then I just use a scissor or like maybe a popsicle sticks um, and just to make a hole. And then I just like stick the roots in and also some part of the stem and press down the soil so there is no big air pockets. And then I'm going to create another hole, stick it in. Um, just be very careful about the roots since they are very thin and very tiny. And then press them down gently and that's it. Now that the potting is completed, I'm just gonna put it into a pretty planter. Sometimes your nursery pot might be bigger than the planter, like in this case. So I'm going to cut off the rim so that can fit within the planter. If your cuttings are very long, you might want to wind them around the planter a little bit because I think it looks more fluffy this way. So there you go. By the way, Angel Hair Vine has a lower propagation success rate compared to some other house plants such as ficus or philodendron. From my own observation, the success rate is about 40%. I would encourage you to get as many cuttings as possible so that you can have a fuller plants in a while from now. 
So after the video, I kept adding more cuttings into the pot. And this is what my plant looks like after a year. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.